This is a relatively uh, quick ceremony that you're going to see. Uh, we will be sworn in by the um, county clerk, Heather DeWeese, who was sworn in this morning. And um, we will gather in front, just so you know, uh, going through the swearing in process. Once the swearing in process is complete, each one of us will have the opportunity to say a few words in thanking all of you for attending and not giving the laundry list of priorities and not making promises that we're not gonna be able to keep right now. But uh, what I'm looking forward to most, in all honesty, is having the ability to no longer say commissioner-elect, but say commissioner in about two minutes to uh, my good colleagues, Joe, Kenny, Tom, and Mike, as commissioners of Carroll County. So without further ado, why don't we line up and Heather, take it from there. Raise your right hand. You're going to repeat after me. I state your name. I, 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 do swear, do swear, do swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. And bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of. Execute the office of. Commissioner for Carroll County, Maryland. Commissioner of Carroll County, Maryland. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And the laws of this state. And the laws of this state. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Good afternoon. <laughs> thank you so very much for being here this morning, and I want to say thank you to my dad, uh, who is here in the audience. I want to say thank you to my mom and my sister and my nephew who are watching online. My fellow citizens, it is owing to God the blessing of life and trusting in his will that I begin my service to you, humbly and gratefully, for love of home, for those things which we hold closest in our hearts our families, our natural rights, our values, our way of life. These are a kind of starlight beacon, lights that show the way ahead and lights that reassure and guide us from the soundness of the past. Carroll County has long shown the way in the modern world by holding to her heritage, a crossroads union of optimism and what matters, a safe haven for the American dream, a place where you can still determine what you and the future will come to be. And these are things worth tending and protecting. And that is a kind of work that does not end. For what we have is a promise which depends upon safeguarding and growing what was given to us so that we might ensure the rising generation and those not yet born will be given something greater than we now hold. Therein, I offer my gratitude to the 61st Board of Carroll County Commissioners for their dutiful tenure in office and their commitment to our citizens in our county. Public service, as they know, is not an easy or a casual thing but is an entrusted privilege borne by and sustained upon responsibility. With that responsibility, I humble myself in the sight of God and ask for his guidance, and I ask for your prayers. I look forward to the work ahead with trust in the Almighty and in the wisdom of the voters of this county 
for the men with whom I will serve that they have chosen are decent and honorable. We know that times are difficult. We know that there are great challenges ahead, but so too are there great opportunities and new chances. The light of that promise, which is forever possible, because we are Americans and because Carroll County is our home. May God always bless you. May God always bless Carroll County. Thank you. As you will get to see, I probably won't be quite as formal. Um, <laughs> this is both exciting and humbling. I want to thank all the supporters, it took many, throughout the county and the voters of District 2. Special thanks to my family. Um, Rhonda's in the front row. She probably worked harder on this than I did, and yes, yeah, everybody's nodding their head. <laughs> I hope, and, and, and it used to be a joke, I hope it's not anymore. All my campaign signs only said Kyler. So I hope everybody's not disappointed that Rhonda's not standing up here instead of me right now. But I thought it would get, a, get votes. So special thanks to her. Uh, my brothers and sisters, um, Andy, my oldest, is in the back. Um, all my children. We lost my mother in February and dad uh, many years ago. And between the two of them and two sets of grandparents and some of Rhonda's family, I've just been blessed with great mentors, and uh, I hope they're uh, proud of what we're doing. Again, many people worked hard to make this happen. I also want to thank Carroll County for electing the four men that I get to serve with. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I was truly blessed the last four years with the four ladies that I served with on the Board of Ed, and they seem to carry me well, so hopefully you guys can do the same thing. Um, I look forward to working with them, and I also look forward to working with and learning from and meeting many of the directors and staff in this building. Some I have, some I haven't, and I, I need to do more. I plan to work hard for the citizens, the businesses, and the voters of Carroll County. And this is kind of a promise, it, uh, Commissioner Rothstein. <laughs> we need to be transparent and open and make sure we protect and guarantee our citizens' constitutional rights. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. I'd like to first thank, first and foremost, my loving wife, Kate, for her support and dedication throughout everything leading up to today. I'd also like to give a heartfelt thanks to my family, including my parents and my in-laws, for their support. Must also thank other family members, and I do mean family. While not all family is blood related, it's common bonds, beliefs, and goals that connect us. Uh, many of, the, of my family spent tireless, countless hours helping me to make today a reality, and for that I owe all of you a huge debt. Thank you. It's been humbling to witness during this election all of the wonderful residents and business owners who understood my motivation and why I chose to run. It's not about me. It's about us, and it's about this wonderful place we live, what we call home. It's about the quality of life we cherish and hold dear for our future generations, and that we're so blessed to have maintained and cultivated for us by those who came before us. Sorry, Ed. I have several goals that I'd like to see accomplished in the next four years. I'd also like to see these goals maintained in the future for our residents. The first is that we have a strong collaboration and good rapport with our delegation and our school board built on professionalism and looking for the greater good in our county. At a time when some have lost their faith in the process and those involved, I ask all of us elected and community members alike to step up and work together for our community today and every day. Second, our ongoing strong support for our law enforcement fire and EMS. These brave men and women and the, are the people each day in and out that keep us safe above the costs to themselves. I thank you for that. Third, I look, I look to seeing additional economic innovation in our county, especially on our main streets, which is the heart in any community. We must reinvigorate these areas to enhance the quality of life for all of our community members. 
This, is, this also includes tourism, which will offer, give us opportunities to bolster our local economies. I'm going to close today with what I consider an origin story. As someone who has a deep love for history, I've always been curious as to what motivates or what the foundation of an idea is. And today I'm going to share one with all of you as to what motivated me to be able to stand here today and serve our community. Friday, December 9th would have been, 90, would have been the 96th birthday of a very special woman. For 36 years, I was blessed to call her a trusted mentor, friend, and grandmother, and more importantly, uh, my grandmother. Evelyn Gordon w went on to meet her husband, Thomas Gordon, at a USO dance during World War II, and for my entire life, for 36 years, I was always asked a simple question. She would pose this question to me every time I saw her, whether it was in person or we spoke on the phone, and the question was, how is the world treating you and how are you treating the world? It seems like a simple question, but is it? I would ask all of my fellow commissioners, all elected, and each of us living in Carroll, to consider this daily. How is the world treating you, and how are you treating the world? Thank you. Almost done. Three pages, but it's font like 50, so it won't take long. <laughs> For me, today is, is really a day of gratitude. I first want to thank uh, the people of District 4 for their overwhelming support. It's an honor to represent you in our county. To my wife, Chris, of almost 27 years, thank you for your support over these last 12 months. Um, no one does this without family because it is, it is so very time consuming. To my three children, Emma, Michael and Abby, thank you. You supported me at the polls and elsewhere, and the three of you made it fun, mostly at my expense. I think you're probably doing that with your phone right now, uh, but, but I'm blessed with a terrific family. My parents, Mike and Nancy. Mom is a second generation Italian American. My father immigrated here as a child. They both worked very hard. My father was drafted, served his country, then went on to serve almost 25 years as a police officer. You both instilled me much. You both instilled much in me, but none greater than the value of honesty, courage, discipline, and hard work. Thank you both for everything and always being there. To my father-in-law, Jack Van Cleve and Karen, I also want to say thank you once again. I'm just truly best with a terrific family. I have a lot of friends here, and I want to try to recognize a few of them. I know I'm going to forget some folks. Uh, Steve Patton, Leslie Jenkins, and Mercedes Mobis, uh, people that I've gone, gotten to know really well over the past couple years. They care deeply about our county, and you will not meet a more, three more steadfast patriots. And Todd Morris, sorry, Todd, I'm embarrassing you here. Uh, Todd Morris, the commander of my American Legion Post 191. Thanks for coming, commander. I appreciate it. I also want to thank Delegate Susan Krebs. Uh, she is not here. It's probably killing her. Uh, but uh, I've known Susan for, for 20 years. Uh, I actually ran against her for the House of Delegates in 2002. Uh, if you ever want to know who Susan beat in an election, very simple response, everybody. <laughs> uh, we lost badly. Um, everyone, every time. Uh, she is a mentor, and Susan and Mark are friends. Uh, she is the one, of most, one of the most remarkable legislators this country will ever, this county will ever produce. And I am so grateful to Susan for her support and her counsel. And then there's Blaine Wright. Blaine, uh, a fellow South Carroll Cavalier. Blaine was my campaign manager, advisor, and one of the best friends you could hope for. I simply would not have run for commissioner without you, Blaine. Uh, his family's been here for over 150 years, and like many of us, he cares deeply for Carroll County. Chris and I can never thank you and Stacy enough. Your hard work over the last 14 months cannot be measured. In closing, it, it's been a rough few years for our country, which, which means it's been a rough few years for our county. But the pandemic is over. New challenges await us. Some of these are daunting. Uh, looming budget constraints, funding critical initiatives such as the transition to a county fire and EMS department, a possible economic recession, the scourge of drugs and the death it's bringing to our young people, and making sure we're shoring up that thin blue line. And also making our schools not, evil, not only better, but even safer. Let us begin a new chapter in our county's history. 
In doing so, create a vision for where we want to take Carroll County and where we do not. Everyday Americans are demanding leadership, a voice, a sound public policy. We as elected officials need to give it to them. It will take honesty, courage, discipline, hard work, but it must be done. We can do it, and it is our duty to deliver. Thank you. Not three pages, a little bit of scribble. Um, and honestly, it's ditto. It's ditto to everything that was said. And all those promises that were shared are there to, uh, to be kept. The transparency, the openness. I learned it a lot from uh, my colleagues of the last board of uh, county commissioners. And I thank them for um, their mentorship, their uh, collaborative approach in getting things done. We have a long ways to go. And I really look forward to uh, my new colleagues um, of the 62nd board. I decided to become a county commissioner. It wasn't just because uh, former Commissioner Doug Howard told me to do it, but uh, it was, in real reality, um, every time I would deploy, whether it was Iraq or Afghanistan, the community, especially this church, Wesley Freedom, wrapped their arms around Audrey and the kids and um, just embraced them. I just want to embrace the community back. And uh, in doing that, that's why I stand here. It ain't about big words and words of wisdom. It's about the ability to be selfless, to open up and say, I want to do something better for our community. Um, safety is security. You know, having the, uh, the wherewithal to pick up the phone and have short one-hour conversations with delicate Krebs. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's having the, that courage. <laughs> it's, uh, and she does her homework, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but it's all of them. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure which one said it, but having the important um, relationship with our delegation and our Board of Education, having uh, the, the, the focus on safety, security, on our schools and education, and the quality of life. That's what we deserve here in Carroll County. You know, um, I, I share the listen, learn, lead model. And I'm very deliberate in saying that. Listen to you, lead, uh, learn from you, and lead together with you. It's the only way we're going to get things done living within our means. Listen to you, learn from you, and lead together with you, with my colleagues, and with you uh, in everyone that's out there. In the military, we say one team, one fight. I truly believe that. Family is a team sport. Carroll County is a team sport. My dad passed July 4th, and every day, you know, it's another day, a special day for me that I'm remembering him. But every time I close my eyes and I think of my dad, I feel warm. I feel that smile. I mean, the guy was just pretty cool. And it was everything about a team sport. It was everything about let's do this together. And uh, so in closing, I don't even know what I wrote down here. Uh, wishing everybody a very happy Hanukkah that uh, celebrates on uh, December 18th and a very Merry Christmas on December 25th. Very congratu uh, strong congratulations to now my colleagues who are commissioners, and we get to call each other Joe and Kenny and Mike and Tom and Ed, and life is good. Thank you very much.